like old chub. It is very good. It is a 8.0 ABV. I do like Skull Splitter better, but I'm going to give this an A minus. Scotch Ale, by the way, guys. Sorry, Scotch Ale from Oscar Blues, Long Mountain, Colorado. I think I said this earlier. I went for a job there years ago and didn't get it. And I'm having this with some Mr. Miss Jerky. This is Elk. Nice. Goes good with Skull Splitter beer. Skull, no, Old Chub, dude. Oh, Old Chub, sorry. Skull Splitter, too, by the way. Yeah, a couple bit, a couple beers. Um, usually I have this in the can. Definitely a different flavor, different texture, taste to this. Still gotta love it, you know. Uh, definitely a good beer. I'm gonna finish drinking. Damn, Tilly jammed that beer. Excellent. So you give so, us what, Johnny? An A minus? I'm getting this an A minus. And you know we've been through a lot of brews today. Yeah. We're still gonna keep looking for some more. We got about an hour, less than an hour. Then we gotta hurry up before they cut off at eight o'clock. So. Here's to DJ's brew tube. We're going to look for more beers. See ya. Peace out. Hey, it's Johnny, and we're trying Oh my god. Witch. I'm feeling a little bit witchy today. Mm, sounds very good. Very light on the palate. I can slam several of these within you know, five minutes. Uh, can't remember what we're looking at in the way of OBA or Super cloudy, guys. See? Super cloudy is a whip beer, and you know what? It's actually good. This beer reminds me a lot of Ho Garden. Exactly. Yeah, yep. I do agree. And uh, I just finished it off, so we'll finish it this, and we'll go on to another brew. I would have to say, yeah, I'd probably give it a B minus for me. Yeah, me too. That's what I was thinking, B minus. So, next beer, guys. Cheers. Adios. Hey there, guys. DJ here. We got Firestone Walker Double Jack. Johnny's showing you the Double Jack up in there, close up. This is a double IPA. Blended beer, like always, with Firestone Walker. Nine point, uh, was it one? Nine point five percent. Whatever, something like that. Can't taste the alcohol and all, at all on this one. A lot of hops in this one. Big hoppy beer, but they have enough malt to balance it off. Really awesome beer. Awesome, definitely, yes. Blended well. I'm giving this one, I'd say probably like a A minus to an A. I haven't decided yet. I haven't drank it down enough yet. Let me see. I, I give it an A minus myself. Yeah, I'm going with the A minus. Little tiny bit. You can taste the alcohol a little bit on this one. The double D and the hop slam, you can couldn't taste any alcohol. Not at all. And they were higher ABV. Yep. Really good beer though, guys. Give this one a try, and we'll see you at the next review. Excellent. Drink Cheers. up, dude. Land ho. Hey there, guys. DJ here. DJ's Brew Tube. We got Heavy Seas, Devil Back, Devil's Backbone. Double, double, double. That's right. Go ahead, go ahead. Cabin's having a drink. Devil's Backbone, Black Pilsner. Pretty good beer. Overall, you see this dark color. You can see through it. Lots of red hints. It's pretty translucent. Basically a dark amber red color. Um, there's not a whole lot to this beer. It's a Pilsner. It's Black very, Pilsner. Black Pilsner. Very sessionable. It's got a lot of the Czech Pilsner notes to it and a lot of hoppy bitterness. And you have a bit of carbon, caramel sweetness in there. Overall, I guess I'm going to give this like a B minus, I think. I'm sorry. I've got to give it a C. Although I have two bottles at home that I bought from the store last night. I still, I'm going to drink it. Hopefully bottle condition different, but you know, I'm not all that impressed. I like Devil's Backbone. I've toured uh, Heavy Seas. You know, I like I like some of their stuff. So you know what? Hopefully it will be better in a bottle. Yeah, let's see if the bottle version is better because you know a lot of time at these beer fests, 
get stuff that's uber cold or when they pour it there's not enough head in it so you don't get enough aeration in the beer or whatever we'll see what it is i'm giving it b minus johnny's giving it a what c i think i said c he's giving it a c we'll take it on let me slam this down i'll slam it with you here drink drink cheers guys it's the next one i the sun is too bright we're going to vermont today bridgewater that is and do long trail i think i've skied long trail long trail what long trail double bag double bag <laughs> for me double bag i'm not going to go into that i have a pumpkin spice from our buddies at yeah the welsh cookie company yeah something like that dot com so eat their cookies this is a pumpkin spice they are good cookies but Yes, we are. So, <laughs> local bag. The WelshCookieMan.com. 7.2% ABV. Definitely have to say, very good with the pumpkin spice. Um, full body. I don't know what a sticker beer is. German Splank. <laughs> Spike for Sticker Brew. We haven't drank anything today. No, no drinking. Um, yeah, whatever the other shit is. It's good. Um, it's, it's, it's an ale, I guess. It is an ale. <laughs> Not an IPA. <laughs> Not an IPA, which DJ said it was an IPA. I do enjoy it. I won't seek it out. Um, not bad at all, but, you know, it's the end of the beer fest, coming into the end of the beer fest, it's one of the last ones on our bucket list. Um, Is it blowing your hair back? No. I just have to say, it's not, I'm not going to go look for it in the grocery store, or the beer store, or wine store, or whatever it is. Uh, you know, the, these videos are going to last longer because, you know, our brain cells are a little more fried. Is it solid, though, as beers go? Uh, I think I've had better things from Log Trail. Can't tell what they are right now. That's the stuff from their Brewmaster series, I think. Whatever. But, <laughs> you know, I'm going to finish it off for my audience. Now that you chug a lug that, what grade do you give it? Give it B minus. B minus, yep, I concur. Double bag's better B minus. It's alright. Excellent. You know, we're still looking for a couple brews on the last minute of the bucket list. And uh, we'll find some more. Take it easy. Lepius is alive. Cheers. So I have some holy brew out of Leesburg, Virginia. They are working We're going with, local. But local for me, very much so. They are brewing with Walsh Rhino Brewing Company. And we are going to taste. This is their brown ale, 7.5 APV. And it's got some caramel. Not too bad at all. I like it. You know, I gotta stay local with the craft brews. It's a little hoppy too, right? It's got some ha hoppiness afterwards. Uh, definitely uh, not over sweet. A little bit of maltiness there. Uh, caramel taste and all that, but you know, I have to say, I got their hat on. Uh, definitely a local brew, so let's say, holy brew. Nombre de Padre de Lijo de Espiritu Santo. Chug it! Oh, that's a piece out. Yeah, adios. Next brew coming up. All right, guys, we got stones. What do we have from stone? We got arrogant friggin' bastard. Arrogant bastard. Johnny and I have had this on bottle before. I've had it in tastings, but when you get it off a keg, it's a totally different beer. It's a hoppy ass beer off of the keg. When you get it in the bottle, it's got a lot more of that malt characteristic. Even when it's fresh, I mean, I've gotten bottles that are like two months old. This beer here, look at the glass lacing on this little tiny tasting glass. Okay, that's just nice. awesome. Right off the stone. Stone, right, that's right. Right off the keg, really hoppy beer, got a real malt balance, but it's punch you in the face top. This is Cali style here, guys. I'm giving this one an A. I mean, I gave the bottled version a B plus to an A minus, but off the keg, much
much better. This is a beer, guys. Try I'm some. Give me a cheers. Don't drink it all, because I want to try some. Oh, okay. <laughs> Boom. There Very you go. Very good. Johnny's going to give it a try now. Finish that off. So what do you think? Am I right with the A? I'm stoned, and I'm giving it an A. Excellent, excellent flavor. All right, guys. Take it easy. This is the last beer of the night. TJ and Johnny. Peace out. Northern Virginia Brewfest. See you later. Peace out.